your mom. What up? It's Dashy. Oh shit, cut, cut. That's the wrong fuck, cut. Welcome to another episode of Bum Ass Kitchen. Alright, I'm your host, fucking Gordon Ramsay. And listen, today we're gonna be making a hood nigga special. Can I stop looking at the fucking uh, shit over here and look at the fucking lens? Anyway, we're gonna be making a hood nigga special. Eh, como se llama mierda? Eh, spaghetti with sauce. Let's get it. Hey, listen here. So the first step when you're making any meal, all right, whether you a hood nigga or you pretending to be a hood nigga or you a suburban nigga or you a mountain nigga, whatever nigga you are, listen, the first step is always check. Make sure you wash the freaking dishes before you start cooking. You don't want dishes on top of dishes on top of dishes. You heard? So come on, let's go. Let's go check out. Our little um uh my little sink over here and see if you know if it's clean if everything is clean. Oh yo so yo do as I say not as I do and there's only one fucking um oya you know there's one oya and you see the freaking suds there that means I washed everything else but that had like a little too much uh como se dice a little too much grease and the fucking dawn commercial lied to me so now that's sitting in hot water so so I can scrub it later I ain't shut up these niggas don't mind their business. All right, so let me show you guys cheat code. The first step is gonna be putting the spaghetti, spaghetti, putting the spaghetti in a pot, right? Okay. But before that, you know how you have to boil the spaghetti and all this bullshit. Hey, you see? I'm gonna show you a little hack. This was going on here. It's a teapot, right? So you boil, you pre-boil the water, pre-boil. All right. So now you don't have to be waiting there like a dumbass for fucking 20 hours for the fucking uh, spaghetti to fucking. Be al dente or whatever that shit's called. That shit's never al dente. Um, but yeah. So, that's step number one. Step number two, grab your fucking olla. <coughs> Place it on the freaking... What is that? On the stove, like that. Step three. Get a half-opened, um... Uh... Half-opened ronzoni box. Because I cooked half uh, another day. Why is my head cut off? Because I cooked half the other day, all right? Yeah, so second step, uh, half-eaten box already of spaghetti. Now you get that, right? And you go like this, and you throw in the garbage. <coughs> but before we actually get the fucking uh, hot water on the, you know, put the, the boiling water in the pot so the spaghetti, could, you know, all that, we're going to have to pre-make sauce, like pre-pre-pre, so everything is done at the same time, so you're not left with fucking... Uh, Overcook the spaghetti or cold spaghetti or freaking cold sauce. So, let's get the ingredients. We're gonna be making the most bootleg marinara sauce you've ever seen in your life. It's not even gonna be red. Peace. So, we open the fridge, right? Maybe you can see the fridge. All right, that's enough of the fridge. This is not MTV Cribs. MTV, come on in, you broke mother. Um, we need tomatoes. All right, so they have any there, stocky. And we got. Tomate, right? What else do we need? We need, a. Uh, let's take a look at the cabinets. Garlic. All right, that's enough of the cabinet. Yeah, so we need garlic from there. Um, I'm gonna get two cloves. I mean, whatever, how, how do you, what, what? That's all, bro. I'm gonna get two cloves. Or whatever you call the small pieces. I think the clove is the, is the actual whole big ass shit. We're gonna get two pieces. So that's ingredient number two. So this. Fighting nougat. Um, so we got the tomato, we got the coal. Third ingredient, eh, aceite de olivo. This video is gonna come out mad reckless because I don't even know if I'm in focus. Uh, aceite de olivo, right? Uh, third ingredient. What's the third ingredient, guys? Help me out, stop being useless. Um, so we got the tomato, we got the thing. Let's see if there's um some onion. Ho oh, ho, perfect. I don't got a freaking uh, pelada, uh cut onion. Perfect. So there's uh, already, I and mean, we don't need, we don't need, oh, this is only half, but we, we need a half of this. We don't need all this onion. But it's already pelado, and it's when the, it, it, fuck. It was already uh, cut, and it's already, it was already in the fridge. Thanks. Thanks, mom. Okay, so we got that. What else are we gonna need? Um, oh, the most important ingredient, a Nutribullet. Uh, do we have a Nutribullet here? Um, this is not home goods. Yes, we do. What is this? There we go. Wow, you found it. Fucking Dora the Explorer, dumbass nigga. All right, so let's get this neutral bullet. Let me set this fucking camera down so I could actually do work. Unless this freaking. That's crazy, bro. All this for what? All this for what? 
a freaking a meal that takes gonna, that usually takes me ten minutes is gonna take me eighty hours because I want to film and and be creative and and try to not work a nine to five. All right, so now that I got the Nutribullet um kind of prepared right here, um I'm gonna prep the the tomatoes and the ingredients. I'm gonna wash it and whatever, whatever, and um cut it so it could, cause you don't want to throw it whole in the fucking Nutribullet, okay? But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. So we over here just rinsing the tomatoes, eh? even though they already come rinsed. But you know, it's not, it never hurts to double rinse. And then what I do is so I can put it in the neutral bullet. Four. Boop. Half here. And poop. Just so the neutral bullet motor doesn't blow up. You know? And then poop. I don't even know if you can see this or not, but that's too bad. All right. So that's one now. I almost missed. Anyway, so number two. So about three tomatoes, depending on serving size. It's only going to be me and maybe my dad. But if you want to go over, all you got to do is this. All you got to do is this. My I'm not wasting water. Who said who's saying that, bro? Dang. Yo, make sure you cut that out. I was wasting. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's about it. Another one. And the two of them. And the three of them. I will find them. Send the crew on them. Actually, I think. You know what? Two tomatoes is fine. Yeah. So. Alright. So we got the tomatoes already here. Remember I said the onion, we're gonna cut this in half. And just throw that in there. You get a knife, unprepared ass. Half onion in there, put the other half in the fridge. And the final ingredient, um, just a little olive oil, that's it. No liquid, the tomato has liquid, just a little bit so it don't, it don't get stuck. So you're gonna put, um, you're gonna put olive oil already in the, in the saucepan when we get to that part. So just a little ching, ching the olive oil, right? And then you get the magic bullet of magic bullet. You get the neutral bullet cover, which is here. Make sure you rinse it. Um, and that's it. Caught in the end toe, just caught in the end toe. And we step back into the night. Oh, um, so that's it. Just start it. So now that Metro Boomin is done uh, making the sickest beat, take that off. And now the sauce, midway there. So, you know, so you wash this shit out. So nothing gets stuck, so you don't gotta do extra work later. You know, we don't like extra work. Because some of us are the laziest people on earth. Um, Not me though, so. Yeah. My head is gonna be cut off this video, bro. I don't have time for none of this. I'm doing it over, nothing. This is enough effort. Anyway, um, so now let's prep the saucepan. So this is gonna be the saucepan for the, for the sauce. Here, since I can't bring the camera over here because it's charging, and this is just a bunch of shit. I can't really show you, but I'm gonna tell you. And then I'll probably show you just when it's in there. But um, in here, that's when you take the two ball sacks of garlic, the little nuts of garlic, peel it, and then you could either chop it, but I, I get the little grater and like shred it like a dumbass. But either or works, and then olive oil. You let that sizzle a little in there a little bit before pouring in our concoction that we made over there. And that's it. Well, actually, don't turn on the heat. I gotta fell out of the freaking. These are the ball sacks of the nuts. So while you guys wait, um, I'm fell under this shit. I'm gonna peel it. All right, thanks. I ain't no chef Gordon Ramsay, so I mean, I ain't no sous chef, so I'm not gonna, I can't peel at the speed of light. This shit gonna take me 80 hours. You know, I'm hungry, right? Freak. And then it's gonna be a video that no one's gonna watch. That's the thing. Like, who, whose idea is this, bro? Whose idea is this? All right, that's one. That stop looking at the freaking view from whatever that shit is at the screen. One right here, look, one. Now I'm gonna do the other one. Two. Oh, so before I stop this clip, this is what I'm talking about. This is a little, a little bit, uh, greater for, for, this is what I use to the, for the garlic. But well, you could just finely chop it and whatever you want, smash it, whatever you want. This ain't, this, this ain't freaking um, fucking master chef. Do whatever the fuck you want. All right, so before I start, sweet, 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 we got the little olive oil. We put it in the pot, just a little, just a smidge. 
a smidge, cover up the, the flat surface. I think that's good. That's enough for olive oil. You, you, you've served your country well. Um, so then you get the liquor fuck of my shit, the fuck, and you swa swa. What? So, stop looking at my ass, by the way. That's kind of gay. Oh, you can't even see it. Alright, but. So, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm sweet, sweet the onion here. I mean, the, the garlic. But be very careful if you're doing this. Um, you want to have grip, too. Don't be touching shit after this either, all right? Don't be touching shit, all right? Wash your hands. Quite like that. Oh, garlic number two. Mmm. It, it just smells. I ain't even turned on the fucking thing, and it smells like gabagool. Yo, what the fuck? Did you even know what you just said? Was that English? Yo, you better cut that out, that stupid video, bro. Are you stupid? That's not even English, what you just said. Shut the fuck up, man. Are you gonna help me make a video or not? If you're not shut up anyway, I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> Fat ass face when it's from underneath. All right, but this is how this looks. Look, that's all we did. All right, so now you know how that shit looks. Stop making me move the camera, yo. Y'all niggas ask for too much. Anyway, so now we can finally get to freaking, um, eh, let me show you one time. Eh, put in the boil water and the spaghetti. Remember we left it there? Dang, bro. Oh, because I want to make videos. I said that in the beginning, but whose man's is this? All right, so so now we're gonna turn on the. I don't even know if you can see it. I'm pointing at it, but pretend you can see it. Imagination. Oh, uh, the spaghetti, dry spaghetti. I'm gonna turn that on. Full blast heat, and we're gonna pour the boiling water in there. Yeah, we use using shortcuts in real life. Gamer, you know, that's what being a gamer teaches you how to use shortcuts and cheat codes. R1, R2, L1, R2, left down, right up, left down, right up. Tell me in the comment what code is that for. And no, it's not the Konami code. So we get that fuck la wush, and we start mixing this shit so it don't, so it can get in the water quick. I used to, like an amateur, I used to, um, before putting on pasta, I used to, <laughs> and then put it in. No, no, I went to Italy one day and they said that's wrong, so. And by going to Italy, I met, I watched the Sopranos and they said that's wrong. So we don't do that no more, right? We leave it long and let the water melt it in. Now, this is the obligatory moment where you salt your water however you see fit. But don't salt it too much because remember we're gonna put salt in the freaking salsa. So just put a little, whatever a little means to you. Okay, and remember, Trader Joe's, salt. And we got pink Himalayan salt on deck. We may be living in the hood, but we got this sh We got five star, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah, so, so you keep mixing that. Now we turn on the saucepan for the first time in history. Put that sh on low though. You want the garlic to, sabe la couche. That's what you want the garlic. So. Keep mixing this, pushing it down slowly, slowly, so it all gets in the water. All right, all of them kind of made it in the water now. All right, that's enough of that. Um, Every so often you go and mix, because you don't want the pasta to stick. All right? All right. Number two, we get our mixture now. I got the gooch over here. Um, I'm going to give it a pre-mix. Make sure you get all the nutrients in there. And that's it. You know, I'm going to take you with me over here. Fuck. Oh, I'm tethered. All right, real quick. Look, so now that's got the gushin right here. Pick that up and, you know, do some Chef Ramsay. That's, it smells good. As soon as it starts to smell, you put the, you pour it in the gabba gushin. See, this is natural tomatoes, bro. This is not canned. This is not peeled. This is not anything in a can. You just got fresh tomatoes. You put it in a blender and a neutral bullet with some oil. Close enough. Now, if you wanted to actually look like marinara sauce, you could put uh, food coloring or sazon or some uh, paprika or some coloring agent, okay? But I don't care about the ta uh, the color. So now for the neutral bullet here, you just empty out of this. You don't want it to stick. And the mad thing. So that's it. That's enjuagado. Uh, give it a little turn again to the pasta. This is how the pasta's looking. Yeah, so let me connect the freaking tether myself again before my camera dies. <sighs> Man, I really didn't plan this out ahead. You know that, right? Want to film a full blown video and then everybody should get the fuck up. What? Want to film a full blown video but not ready for it. Not Don't have all the equipment ready, charged, nothing. Irresponsables. All right, the spaghetti is. You can leave that there for a couple minutes. Now we're gonna focus on the sauce now. So all you gotta do for the sauce, really, is just salt to taste. Pepper, some lemon. I put lemon. You know we Spanish. We gotta put lemon in everything. Lemon and lime, same thing. Um, are we out of lemon? No, I mean lime, lime, lime. We're out of lime. So we get lemons. All the same thing. Cut that. 
Take a look at the spaghetti again. Like I said, you don't want this to stick. And also taste the spaghetti on the way too. You don't want that shit to overcook. Let me cut this lemon. Because I'm Andy Menelakis. It's my show. I'm Andy Menelakis. I rock peas on my head, but don't call me a pea head. Peas on my head, but don't call me a pea head. It's my show. Wish me, wish me, wish me. So you just a little bit squeeze. Hit that beat. Hit that beat. Squeeze. Work it. Beat. Hit the beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's my fault. Too much really blanks. Um, yeah, so you just squeeze a little bit of the lemon until it look like this. That's a, that's a measurement until it look like this. So, store the rest. Um, clean up in the middle of the stuff. Um, get a fork so we could taste the spaghetti before we overcook the shit. And then it starts, you know, you ever did spaghetti like an amateur and you were amateur like, like most of us? And then you just, you left the spaghetti there for so long and for some reason that shit just starts decomposing. Like all the flowers on one side and then the spaghetti. No, man, no, you don't want that. Mm -mm. So make sure you taste. I could never find the hole, that's what she said. Um, I still got cement, so. Not done yet. I'm, I'm guessing another three minutes. Because I went to La Cordon Bleu. No, I didn't. Who said that? Um, yeah, so the sauce, we put the lemon in it. Or lime. Same difference. I know the chefs are going to wreck me for that same difference. It's not the same. Uh, this one has pH levels. I don't care. Um, que estoy buscando. Que estoy buscando. Que estoy buscando. Oh, salt. Obviously. So when you get the salt for this, you don't want to open the big bottle. Okay. You want the little sprinklers. All right, just in case you go, oh, shh, and then all the shh, you don't want that, see? That's a rookie mistake. So you just salt, keep salting. Hit that beat. Hit the beat. Pepper. Yo, bro, this, this just Trader Joe's in here, like I wear Supreme, like my closet's just full of nick. Nah, bro. All right, so some pepper. By some, I mean the whole bottle. Um, Some garlic powder. Even though we put real garlic in there. You know, not artificial intelligence, but just some garlic powder. Sprinkle that in there. We want a little bit of heat, so we want a little bit of... A little, a tiny bit. This shit will, oof, shit will have you sweating. Hi! Peace, I mean, then you slam the cabinet like you know what you're doing. Right? Oh, shit, we for, see, we forgetting about the thing. The pasta, it could be from, it could go from cement to mush in seconds. But we can't forget about that. We're doing another taste. Another taste, right? Blow it out your ass like this. One more minute. Now we mix in the salsa. And why this is hood niggas? Because some niggas can't eat without meat. Pause. Unless you know. But yeah, nah. Some niggas can't eat without meat. This is hood, bro. This is, I, I don't need meat, bro. There's a lot of meat, but I don't feel like making it right now, you know? So, ha, ha, ha. We got a freezer there full of freaking... But yeah, some people, I like, I love spaghetti with just sauce. Sauce and cheese, if you have. I don't need you. I need 18 pounds of meatballs. I mean, that's good. That's, no, I'm not saying that's bad. That's good. But when you want something quick, when you want something quick, you don't care about the meat. It's just sauce, bro. So let's taste the spaghetti again. My dad's coming in. It's going to be awkward. All right. Hasta no ver no creerlo. Cut the heat. Cut the heat and get it off the water. Quick. Get your strainer and strain it. No, I'm not taking the camera to show you. All right, so we put the pot back. We got the strain thing here. But before you put the, the, the spaghetti back in the pot, put some olive oil in there because you don't want it to stick on the pot. See? Things you learn from chef your parents. Mom and dad. Get the strain the spaghetti. That's it. Um, let me lower the volume. Up. Leave it. Um, I gotta check that. Let me wash the strainer now. We don't leave. We don't leave dishes, bro. We gotta wash it as soon as you use it, because and then you, you don't. You don't want to wash it after you eat. You get you, you get the itis. All right, so that's washed. Let's put this plate down. All right, so now we gotta focus on the sauce. So the sauce is pretty much done. You just put it on the heat for as long. You just estimate what I did. But just put it on the heat until it's just hot. You just don't want the thing hot. And so all the spices kind of mix and everything. Taste it. Make sure it's good as salt. Needs more salt. We tasting it though. It's possible. So we 
We turn off the heat. Take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. And that's it, bro. The meal is done, boy. So the last thing I'm going to show you is, is just plating it, all right? You just put the spaghetti on the plate. That's it. Peace. Nah, I ain't going to do that. I'm, I'll show you. Uh, all right, so we're plating the food now. Here we go. Yo, I, yo, this video, my bad, bro. It's going to be, I'm going to be looking here. I need to stop doing it. It's the lens. You could tell I'm a, Anyway, we're going to plate the, 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 the spaghetti. Steering wheel, I mean plate. This is how it looks. Now picture a tight beat. Peace. Oh, no, 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 no. We, in these videos, we got to taste it too, right? Yeah, making me do mad work.